Hi everyone, this is Lolly. In today's project, I want to show you how I am making my paper tassels. There are several instructions already on YouTube. I'm just showing you how I figured that I want to make mine because um, I like the way that the wire in the middle is going to be stronger and not pull out quite as easy. So what you need is to pick out a set of beads that you want. I chose some matching colors. You need an eye pin or a head pin. This is a head pin right here. An eye pin, see this has a little knob on the end. An eye pin has a little loop on the end. Either one will work. You need a really small bead to go on the end of this, in my way of doing it anyway. And you need a piece of paper, cardstock preferably, that is two inches by seven and a half inches. You need sharp pointy scissors. You need some glue. I'm using two. I'm using the Loctite Super Glue because it's, uh, it dries quickly and it's a permanent hold. But I'm also using hot glue because I need to be able to work um, fairly quickly. And you need some tools. You need some needle nose pliers. These ones are bent. You do not have to have bent ones. Needle nose pliers. These are round nose pliers. You can get by without these if you want. And something to snip wire with. Uh, and you need jump ring or a split ring. Jump rings are easier to work with. Jump rings are rings that they're just closed like this. A split ring is a spiral, kind of like a keychain, where you have to slide your jewelry onto it to get it to stay. And then so you can, if you wish, put a lobster claw or some sort of clasp at the end or a garment pin. Okay, so what I like to do, and I lost my pencil, here it is, is to just on the back side of my paper, and notice mine is not double-sided paper, but you can definitely use double-sided paper. I'm going to put this against my um, grid here and I'm going to mark off half an inch and this is okay what I, I call this my band okay that is let me grab one of these that is the section across the top now of course I can't get in this here we go the section across the top right here okay that's the band so this is going to be the band and then I'm just going to make cuts fairly close together they're probably about an eighth of an inch and I'm going to do that all the way to the very end, all the way here. I'll pause the tape until I get it done. Okay, so I have this completely done. You see that? What I want to do is to cut off one or two of the very end ones here. That's, that's what I'm doing different in my project, okay? I want to get this sort of started curling, so I'm using my thumb, my finger behind it. I'm just going to put my thumb on the back side of this and pull it down. See how it's curling that? And I'm going to go this way. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing with the um, lashes here so I can kind of curl them up a little bit. Now this is a foiled paper so I'm being careful because I don't want to scratch or the paper. Okay, so it makes it look like false eyelashes. They're kind of curled out a little bit. Now on this pin I mentioned that we need to have at least one small bead here it is. The reason what I'm doing here, and you'll see there's a method behind my madness, I'm going to take my super glue and put one dot right there on the, if I can get it going, there we go, on the bottom of that. Slide my pin on. This helps too, is if you have a closed pin, I, this flat part here where they meet, I put it on there and slide it down against the bead while that's drying. Okay. Now what this is going to be, <clears throat> we're going to glue this pin in place and the bead is going to hang off of the band so that hopefully that chunk on the end there is going to stop this from sliding out of our tassel once we get it going. Okay. It doesn't take too long for this Loctite to set up, so I'm giving it a second here. See how it's doing. Okay, while it's doing, and I want you to know that I've been heating up my hot glue gun as we go, I'm going to get this in here. This is just a coaster, but I, it's made of stone, and it's going to help me as I roll my project up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to glue this on, and I'm going to glue it with that bead hanging off the end of the band here. Like I said, that bead is going to catch, so hopefully you won't be able to pull the, this out when you're done making it. So what I'm going to do is put a nice small bit of hot glue in here. Oops, that was a little bigger than I wanted. So what I'm going to do is wipe off any excess that I don't want on there. 
If you put too much glue on there, you will have a hard time getting your rolling started. So I'm just put that glue on there. I'm letting it set. And then when I'm ready to roll, what I'm going to do is hang that bead off of the end here until I get a good roll started. And now for longevity, I'm also going to add some of this super glue here right on the pin. Okay, and I'm going to roll this as tightly as I can right around that pin. Okay, I like to get a good start on that. Okay, now you see how that pin is hanging through that hole right there? That pin, that bead is going to stop this from being pulled out. So once I get that started, I like to use um, paper glue. You can use some um, your hot glue, but hot glue is so thick, I don't want thick glue in my project. So as I roll, I'm going to roll it tightly, and I'm going to make sure that the end of my paper all lines up here. Because with that um, bead and all these fringes here, it's very easy for it to get crooked and start rolling at an angle. Just keep lining that up. Okay, once you get the first couple inches, it's a lot easier to proceed. Okay. All right, now I'm going to pause the tape until I get to the end. Okay, I am ready for the last inch of this. I'm going to continue rolling that tightly. And make sure I do have one drop of glue right there on the end there. Okay, now as I seal this, so on my clothespin, the whole part right there, I'm putting that right on the opening to, to hold that shut while I cap my glue. Okay, now I need to figure out what beads are going to be going on here next. So I'm going to play around a second here. We want beads with preferably a small hole, and I think I want this one to go on there first. I know it's it's green. I like the way it's going to look with my gold. So um, just to give this a little more sturdiness, I'm actually going to glue with my Loctite down on the paper and all around that pin, and then drop that down in there. Now I'm going to hold the pin, and the reason is that pin, although it's going to be hard to pull it out, it's not hard to push it in, right? Another reason why I'm trying to glue this. So if you want, you could grab a binder clip to make sure that that pin does not slide down inside the bead and let that dry. Okay, so my uh, video cut off the end, so it cut off right after I had put this bead on there, so I want to show you how I finished this off. So where I left off, I had my, um, I'm just going to start here, but I had the tassel completely attached to this. At that point, I just added another, I think they're called a rondelle, and another big bead. Let's see if I can find one of these. I'll use one of these. Okay, so that's what you have. You can use whatever bead combinations you want, but at this point now we need to make a loop on the end of this in order to attach it to something. I like to take my pliers and immediately make a 90 degree angle on that. Okay, and the reason is, eek, here's the top bead here. When you have your little um, wire coming out and you just bend it over, that's what you get a shape. Your wire is shaped like this. But if you have your bead coming out and you immediately bend that the wire this way, then when you bend it, here's the bead, your wire will look like this. It'll be more round instead of straight up and curved. So I'm going to actually have to trim on this one. I'm going to have to trim this off a little bit. I trimmed it off less than a quarter of an inch in length, um, probably about seven millimeters or so. Take the round nose pliers, grab the end, and twist it over. Okay. Now, because of the fact that I had first taken my, let's see if you can see that, taken my um, pliers and had bent that to the right 90 degree angle, then, like I said, when I folded it over, I have a nice loop atop as opposed to looking like that. Okay, I'm going to squeeze that shut just a little bit, but it makes it really, really pretty and uniform when you do it that way. Okay, then the only other thing you need to do at that point is to take one of your, if I can find, let's see, 
since I'm redoing this, I have to get another jump ring out. And that one's a split ring. I do want a jump ring. I'm going to grab that with my... Uh, nah. Every one I grab is going is turning out to be a split ring. Here's a jump ring right there. Sorry, I usually have that ahead of time. Look and see which way um, on the split in these, if I can find it, it's split at an angle, one way or the other. So you want to work with that split, and then you just want to put it on there, hook it on, and then if you're going to use a lobster claw, go ahead and put your lobster claw on then, and then just twist it back. So with again, on the jump ring, you um, the end of the wire is this way. You want to split it one way or the other. I think it's usually this way. Don't pull it apart like this because it's very hard to get that back together again. So that's how I made the top of this. And then the only other thing needed is just take your hot glue gun and just glue some, some sort of decorative edging right around the base of your tassel. So here, in summary, there's the one that I just made for you. Okay. And here's uh, my first one I made, which I actually took organza ribbon. And if you can see this right there, and I glued strips of it attached to the base, and then I wrapped organza around the base, and then this silver edging here. This is a different kind of clasp on it as well. And then was my next one I made. Okay. And then I like this blue one. Uh, right here I started using the garment pins, and of course I can't get it all. It's, I'm getting fidgety here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I use the garment pin. I like these because you can add so many different charms to the bottom of that like I did here. I added one more charm that I made and I made it the same way that I just showed you just now. Just remember to put a, a small bead on the bottom of your pin so that it doesn't fall through the big bead. And then um, after I wrapped the, uh, the edging around here, I glued a star to cover up the ends and then I put organza ribbon bow on the top. And this was the other one that I have, also with a garment bead, if I can find the tip of that. There we go. And I hung a flip-flop charm here, and then another bead here. It's a ceramic bead. There you go. So those are the ones that I've done so far. And I will show you a close-up picture of these at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.